Welcome back! I am some guy you've never heard of, and this is Europa Universalis III, Holstein, Austria. So last time we were still recovering from our massive, uh, infamy. We're only down to 44 now, as you can see. And, um, we spent a lot of the time sending out missionaries and building cathedrals. If I recall, we were done building cathedrals, aside from the few new provinces we've added that were a little behind the curve. And we're going to be moving on to improving the forts in all of our territories. Alright, let's go ahead and start this up then. We're still going to try to focus on losing infamy. We're still losing 1.4 years, so... That's 14 every 10 years. So yeah, say in... 1637, we should be down to 30. At that point, we'll probably be ready to make our next war. Unless somehow the game necessitates it soon. Because we do still have a claim... We do still have claims on Bavaria and... Territory. And the game wants us to drive the Ottomans out of the Eastern Balkans. Which I mean, at this point, all we have is third series. But in the meantime, we'll continue working on our new construction. Right. The Koyras needs a church, so it's getting. And then we'll improve the forts and let me do this by revolt risk. Who's got the highest revolt risk? Negative seven is supposed to be the highest. So with this side, you get a fort. Sit on, you get a fort. So lucky, you get a fort. Alright, I want a successful in Sierra Leone. You know, fantastic. Well, one of our generals is dead. It happens. We have holy war and a tribal conquest against it. No, no will towards Mali though. I'm kind of sad that they lost their sea access. The Green Coast can now support a food um a full size agent. What are we doing on the all the sports but we have limited sports one of the We're not building an agent. However, we could take the Greek Legion and send it down to the stuff. But I think that's what we do. You don't want to put down sewer, do much more to pull off, and we get on the ship. Go ahead and build the ports, the ports, the ferries, the ship, Austria. Oh, I have five missionaries right now. I should see about uh, deploying them. Well, let's work our way. The Morbihan gets one. Normandy gets a missionary. Picardy gets a missionary. Cambrai gets a missionary. And Calais gets a missionary. Looking good there. Um, Bavaria is still the Emperor, however, I have four votes right now. And the remaining electors are my vassals, but are ranking Bavaria higher right now. Although not by a lot, and hold up some money. Should check for other small kingdoms that I want to to turn into vassals. Serbia is still a boss of Ottomans. Moria is a king. Don't they, don't they exist because of me? Let's send them an alliance offer. They accept it. Great. Oh no, our high judge is dead. Don't think we really need a high judge anymore. We've seen to have gotten through the worst of it. I 
think we won a statesman right now. It's been a while, but I think that's our highest rank. Oh, no, let's go with a theologian. So that we can convert people faster. Oh, we got a level 6 one. That's great. So, uh, let's go ahead and build a fort and also... Right, they're successful in Sierra Leone again. Right, keep them going. Right, you. Go ahead and deposit... Go ahead and deposit the Greek Legion in the Grain Coast. You can send naval technology. We'll use caution because we still have an ungodly amount of inflation. Actually, let me check on that and see how bad our inflation is. Then the fleet can go back to base in the middle of this. Anything interesting here in the region? Test axe lowers our tolerance of heretics next. Superintendents would give us minus revolt risk, but increased stability cost. No, that's worth it. Use church taxes would increase revolt risk <laughs> and raise taxes no no thanks i just lowered revolt risk advancement of religion would also increase really um, increase uh, revolt risk i mean i'd be willing to do the popery act if i could uh, if i could but I have to have a pope with, I mean not a pope, I have to have a monarch with at least six military skill. So, I mean, if and when Franz Karl ascends to the throne, he might be able to do that. Alright, let's go ahead and build a fort in Danzig, and one in Memel. And we converted the heretics of Navarre. Oh, that's right. I was also going to uh, try to work on uh, Krakow. Here, have some money, Krakow. Who was the one that I was currently working on, though? I just sent them a gift, like, moments ago. Moria. There we go. Actually, sent them an alliance offer. Now I'm sending them a gift. And our colonists in Sierra Leone are successful. Amazing. And Sierra Leone produces grain. That's funny. The grain coast produces ivory, but then its neighbor produces grain. And let's go ahead and build more forts in Niederbayern, Tyrol, Galera, and Trent. Alright, have some more money, Krakow. Moria, be our vassal. And you accepted. Smart. So Spain holds three Greek pro three Greek provinces. Um, Epirus is an independent kingdom here in Naxos. Interesting. I shall work on them. And the rest of the uh, of Greece is mine or my vassals. Let's get forts in Friuli and Venezia. All right, Krakow. Have some more money. We've converted the heretics of Macedonia and Uzizek. Yay! And we'll send another gift to Epirus. And uh, we've converted the heretics of Dalmatia as well. Let's 
go ahead and build a courthouse in Oiras. And then a fort in Macedonia. Alright, we have five more missionaries again. Let's send them out. Artois. Vanderen. Friesland. Osnabrück, Osnabrück, and Oldenburg all get uh, missionaries. And they're successful in Sierra Leone once more. This might be the time we actually successfully col colonize it. And conversion has been successful in Morbihan and Asut. And a fort in Messina. Right, let's get another fort in Carntern uh, and Stairmark and Linz. And we converted the heretics of Crane. And Sierra Leone keeps growing. Send more colonists. And we've converted the heretics of Kozani. Wonderful. And Crane can get its cathedral. And let's go back to those countries that I was, uh, that I neglected for a moment there. Have some more money, Epirus. You too, Krakow. You're still at war with a bunch of people. Let's get married, Krakow. No. It's a maybe? No. Have some money, Krakow. Alright, a theologian. Nice. We don't need the stability, so we'll gain 10 prestige. And we've converted the heretics of Nis. And our government tech is up to 30, which allows another idea. And we have nationalism um, CB against all countries with provinces of our con con but culture group. So anyone with a German culture, we can uh, declare war on them out of nationalism. Fantastic. And the heretics in Normandy and Burgogne have embraced the true faith. And now we can get Cabinet, which will have us lose an additional one infamy per year. So now we are losing 2.4 infamy per year. Great. Let's uh, get a fort in Burgoon, and one in Nis, and in Sopran. Oh, we're almost uh, full missionaries again. Bremen gets a missionary. As does Stayed. And Luba. And for Palmyrin. We're fast approaching the day when we don't have uh, places to send our missionaries. And Sierra Leone keeps growing. I wonder, will my next African province be Conian or Ivory Coast? I don't know, but our next province is going to be in uh, so is going to be in South America. We're either going to go with Alpercatas or Ilhius. And let's go ahead and build a fort in Gors and one in Ustmarch. So we currently get 12.15 magistrates per year. And we've converted the heretics of Bern and Valenciennes. And there's a revolt in Kosovo. It's been a moment since I've had a revolt. 
Well, the Hungarian Legion will go deal with it. And then they'll just set up shop in Zeta for now. And Cambrai has converted. Let's get a spy agency in Oeras. And a fort in Treviso. And one in Cremona. We've converted the heretics of Vorpomer. It's like my most recent uh, missionary assignment as well. And Graz gets a fortress. And Sierra Leone has had another successful colonist arrive. So let's send one more. Alright. Papyrus. Have some money. Krakow. Is that peace now? Fantastic. Let's get married, Krakow. Oh, they rejected us. We're so hurt. How would they feel about an alliance, though? Provinces frustrated by lack of autonomy. Provinces shouldn't have autonomy. That's not something that should frustrate you. Um, let them revolt. We're not going to decentralize. Are you kidding? We're not going to give you a worse government. Alright, let's send the Hungarian Legion to go put down the rebels in Pump. And Krakow accepted the alliance offer. Good. Papyrus, would you like to get married? Oh, they rejected. Okay. Krakow, would you like to get married? They accepted. Good. Right, we've converted the heretics of Friesland and Silistria. And let's build some more forts in Silistria, Ghent, Queno, Sundgau, and Maranhau. And we had another successful um, colonist in Sierra Leone. How long would it take? It's uh, 63 per year, so it would take a few months. Let's just send another colonist then. And we converted the heretics of Gaza. Alright, the Pyrus have some money. And Krakow, why don't you have some money too? And Epirus, let's get married. And this colonist was successful in Sierra Leone. So when the month changes over, you'll be told that it is self-sufficient. Alright, let's build a fort one in Sierra Leone. And we can, and we'll build a fort three in. Uh, actually, let's continue doing this by revolt risk. We'll build one in Gaza, and one in Sayara, and one in Rio Grande. Oh, as well as one in Bahia. And we are almost done improving our fort infrastructure. Let me decide from all the places that are currently being profitized to. And the Paris has accepted the royal marriage. Good for them. And there's a revolt in Albania. Go deal with that Hungarian Legion. Oh, it's backed by Spain. Spain, do you want to go to war again? And we have a revolt in Stade. It's that one. That one is backed by... Um... Magdeburg. We converted the heretics of our and we built a town hall in Wavos, and a fort in Leans. And we've converted the heretics of Niederlositz. Right, a fort in Holstein, 
and Diamantia, and in Vienna. Our country is now recovered from the disastrous fact fractions of religious turmoil and is now together in one piece. I didn't even realize we were dealing with religious turmoil. One fifth. And we'll improve that fort in Crane and Pernambuco and Antwerpen. Hmm. We've gained a core province of uh, Maranhau. That is fantastic. Yes, this um, this province in modern day Brazil and this one in West Africa here, being across from each other right there, that's very pleasing to me. Aesthetically. Oh, we have five um missionaries. We should send more out. Into Hinterpommern. And Toren. Wait, did we, we miss Lubeck? Okay, send one to Lubeck. And then we'll send one to Toren. And Donzig. And Samagosia. And we've converted the heretics of Stade. Right, let's get that church in Sierra Leone. And a fort in the Grain Coast. Now, what shall we focus? Oh, let's build some more manufactories before we focus on a new thing. Um, yeah, let's get another, uh, what's it called? Um, textile manufactory. Croatia? Yeah, that's a good place for it. Oh, well, we have a copper producer. It needs a weapons manufactory, then. Regional nobles challenge Austria again? Again. We, we will crush them. Again. <sighs> Once again, the King of Austria is the Holy Roman Emperor. Ferdinand III Wenzel of Austria. As the new emperor, the new lawful sovereign of the Holy Roman Empire has promised to protect the rights of the states as emperor. Great. The Austrian Legion will go deal with the rebels in Provence. And not um, Epirus. Let's be allies. Oh, he rejected. Let's get a college in Oiras. And we'll continue building manufactories right now. Oh, I have a new iron producer. Well, it should get a weapons manufactory. And we'll build naval naval equipment manufactories in Wenden. And Carpathia. Oh, I still have more naval supplies provinces. Okay, then. Um, sit on. And that's going to be it for manufactories for a while. Until our treasury goes back up. And we won that battle in Provence. So we will chase them to Languido.
think I will continue with naval infrastructure for now. Let's start building docks. Alright, we won another battle. We'll chase them to Toulouse. And now they're going to Bairn. Oh, and we converted the heretics of Hinterpalmeren. And we're still chasing these noble rebels. And we'll get a dock in, in Germanland, and Venice, and Macedonia. And we finally put down those rebels. That was a tough uh, unit. And a dock in Cairo. Cairo has a port. Oh, so it does. On the Red Sea. Nice. Now imagine once that becomes a court province, how much further our colonial map model radiate out this way. I'm tempted to just take the Falklands with my next colony. Either that or St. Helena. And we've converted the heretics of Chur. And we'll build a um, fort in Chur. Let's send out a few more missionaries to Mogolyov and Riga and Livland and then Osul and Estland. And we've converted the heretics of Oberlausitz. Oh, we can change the slider again. Um, yeah, let's continue our centralization. And the country has been destabilized. Well, that's better than having to kill people. Especially right now when it's going to take us a few months to get that stability back. And we've converted the heretics of Oldenburg. And we can build a Fort 2 in Sierra Leone. And we have excellent supplies. Nice. And we'll keep building docks in Gaza and Diamantia. And we've converted the heretics in Bursa. And there goes our stability back up. Let's go ahead and get a dock in Delta and one in Maranjo. And we've converted the heretics of Beirut. And we'll build a Fort 3 in Beirut. And then, um, oh, in Germanland is building something, as is Viborg. Okay, well, Viborg now gets its missionary. And we'll have to wait a little while before we can send our last one to in Germanland. And we've converted the heretics of Riga already. Nice. And there is heresy in Morbihan. That's fine. You guys want to experiment around with things? That's, that's fine. So long as the major dominant religion is... The true reformed faith. And there goes our missionary in Germanland. And that, that's it. We don't have anywhere else to send missionaries. For now. Another reason to conquer territory. Alright, let's go ahead and build a dock in Sayera, and Libya, and Pernambuco, and Bahia, and Green Coast. Nice.
And yeah, our infamy is all the way down to 31.63 now. And we've converted the heretics of Larissa. And our army reformer has died. Well, that's too bad. Let's first build a fort in Larissa and then see about replacing our army reformer. Yeah, we'll just get an army reformer. It's only level 4, but could have been worse. And we've converted the heretics of Leones. And Languido. Right, let's get a fort in Languido. And a dock in Libya. And we've converted the heretics of Moravia. And Bithynia. Now, I know I said we were going to wait until uh, 37. We we're going to let 10 years pass before we went to any more wars. And I'm going to stick to that. Although, we'll be at even lower than 30, like I had projected. Because we got that, because uh, we inst installed our cabinet. Which is really useful. Let's get a courthouse in Sierra Leone. And a Fort 3 in Bithynia. We'll build a dock in Dalmatia and one in Ragusa. More regional nobles. Where are they this time? Niederlausitz. And there's only eight. Go deal with it. Royal Legion. Good job. And we've converted the heretics of Verona. And we now know about Guam. That's cool. way too far away for me to colonize, but it's good to know that it's there. What's going on in South America over here? Let's see, we've got Great Britain, more Great Britain, oh they're just like separated by empty space. Let's see, more Great Britain, so it looks like it's just Austria, Portugal, and Great Britain colonizing South America at this point. Does it look in North America? Let's see, Great Britain, Norway is occupying some of Spain, or is it the other way around? Uh, more Great Britain, and then Denmark. So it's mostly Spain, Great Britain, and Denmark in North America. Oh, Aragon has taken a handful of um, Central America. Oof, that is a supply chain nightmare. It's on the uh, west coast. So they gotta sail all the way around South America to get over there. I mean, unless they have access through Britain or Spain. You never know. Oh, and Aragon has a colony right there. Um, Brittany has an island out here, as does uh, Norway has a couple. Norwegian Jamaica, interesting. Alright, don't know why I went on that little uh, tangent looking at uh, the Americas there, but there we go. And we've converted the heretics of Albania. And Altenia, and then we'll go ahead and build a cathedral in Oiras, and a Fort 3 in Verona, and Albania, and Altenia. We are going to be very well situated when we declare war on the Ottomans again. And we've converted the heretics of Estland and Picardy. And let's get a dock in Hinterpommern, and a Dirne. And Silistria. Um, Hungarian Legion. Go hang out in Edirne. 
so that you're ready to march into Thrace when the time comes. You're hanging out in Carpathia? Yeah, that's fine, because you can march across... Actually, no. Go hang out in Budjak in Moldavia. And then you'll be ready to march into Cherson. So I'll have my three-pronged assault against the Ottomans. But that's still two years off. Let's build a dock in Larissa and a dock in Kozani. And a dock in Vorpomern. And a dry dock now in Diamantia. Oh, we've got the agricultural revolution again. Well, let's raise hot taxes higher in packs. Oh, I forgot all about Krakow and, um, what are they called? A Pyrus. Krakow has some money. Pyrus, let's be allies. Great. Oh, we have a brown uh, boundary dispute on, um, Liege. Interesting. Well, on, um, Hey now, but Liege's um, territory. Sure, why not? We'll press the issue. More incentive to um, annex them at some point. Let's get a spy agency in Sierra Leone, and a fort in Judea, and then a dock in Bithynia, and a dry dock in Cairo. Well, now we can build a war college. And we've converted the heretics of Wallachia and Pressburg. Where shall we build our war college? I think the capital would be the best place for that. Yes. You come to uh, Siena, um, not Siena, Vienna for your war education. And then a fort in Wallachia and a dock in Albania, and a dry dock in Delta. And we can now build a tax assessor. Great. I think we're going to build it in Venezia. I mean, we do ha we are going for a very centralized government. I should put more things uh, centrally located like that. All right, let's get a dry dock in Libya in the meantime. And we've got heresy in French Comte. And we've converted the heretics of Torhan. We have five colonists. Shall we send them to Ilhius or Alpercatas? I don't like the idea of expanding our coastline a bit, so let's go with Ilhius. What's this down here? Naples? Sao Tome? Good for them. Molly is sending spies against us? Why? You realize I could just march in there and crush you, right? And let's get that... Uh, Let's get a dry dock in Bursa and one in Silistria. How's Vienna doing on that? Still going to take a bit to finish the War College. And then a dry dock in Venetia and one in Larissa. And then Epirus have some more money. Krakow become my vassal. Perfect. Oh no, the emperor is dead. The, imperi the imperial crown remains in Austria. Excellent. Oh, but it's a regency. Not excellent. 
Oh, how young is the king? Nine. Well, we're waiting until the regency is over before we attack the Ottomans. So, we have a unanimous election right now. That is fantastic. I should start um, demanding religious con um, uniformity with some of my vassals. If it's still early enough in the game to do so. Be Saxony. Become reformed. Ah, oh, you accepted. Perfect. So we gained more imperial authority. As planned. Um, Thuringia. We don't have that great of a... Why are we not allies? Um, my son. Um. Become reformed. And they've accepted. Perfect. And we have a successful colonist in Ilhius. Um, Silesia. Become reformed. Excellent. Oh no, complaints about Bailiff. Um, execute the Bailiff. And we will send some more money to Epirus. And Krakow is already our duchy. Good, good. And our legitimacy is taking a hit because of the regency. I should start making royal marriages again. I should, but at the same time, it's like I'm more concerned with enforcing religious unity. So Palatinate, become reformed. You've accepted. Fantastic. Onsbach, let's get married. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and build the tax assessor in Vienna. And a town hall in Sierra Leone. A dock in Judea, and dry docks in Macedonia, and a Dirne. What does our naval limit look like right now? 117, and we have 111. Our naval, we are under our naval support limit. Fantastic. Oh, and we became the emperor! Which means our land support limit shot skyrocketed. It's now 551. I could easily support another four legions. I don't need to, but I could. Oh no, the colonists failed in Ilhius. Well, let's send more anyway. And then get a fort in Oiras. All right, Epirus, let's get married again. And Epirus, would you like to be our vassal? You would. That is fantastic. And we've converted the heretics of Partium and Hum. And we will build a Fort 3 in Hum. And a navy, uh, a dock in Croatia. And a dry dock in Albania and Cal. Who else can we make become reformed? Mantua we have a terrible relationship with. Interesting. How's our relationship with Ferrera? Also pretty bad. Parma? I mean, at least that one's positive, but it's still super low. Uh, Tuscany. Let's get married again. And now Tuscany uh, become reformed, and we'll send more colonies to Ilhus. And they did not accept, so I lost that one um, imperial authority. Oh well. Well, 
I guess we'll just have to send some money that way. Uh, Milan. We only have a relationship of three. But let's get married. Unlikely? Okay. <clears throat> Let me pick out one of these vassals to just work on. Um, Brandenburg. Oh, let's get married, Brandenburg. All right. And then become reformed, Brandenburg. Oh, they're also not accepting. Great. Um, have a dock sit on. Have a dry dock, Ragusa, Marenhaal, Dalmatia, and Bithynia. All right, Brandenburg, have some more money. Oh no, our colonists failed again. Religious resistance. It is proving much harder than anticipated to convert the citizens of Sandon Yerez. Although a few of them showed some clear interest in the beginning, the majority don't seem that willing to embrace a new religion. Um, well, I can say it's a waste of time, or increase your efforts. Well, increase your efforts. And we'll just go ahead and deal with that quick, that uh, small revolution there. Alright, Brandenburg, uh, we're reinforcing religious unity again. And you accepted this time, because you're not dumb. Right, Pomerania is already reformed. Um, how's Mecklen Mecklenburg is already reformed? Anhalt is not reformed. Let us work on our relationship with Anhalt. Let's get married. Great. And we're going to enforce religious unity, Anhalt. And they've accepted. Magnificent. Let's get a college in Sierra Leone, and then dry docks in Gaza, and Provence, and Pernambuco, and Bahia. Just increasing that naval infrastructure. Alright. Ah, Thuringia. They have not accepted... Uh, the reformed faith yet. Well, let's get married, Thuringia. Oh, and we produce naval supplies in Ithius. All right. And the colonists failed, so we'll send another one. And we'll send some more money. We'll send some money to um, Thuringia. And we'll build dry docks in Rio Grande and the Green Coast and Kozani, and Vorpamen. And we're going to keep wor working on Thuringia for now. Have some more money, Thuringia. Clergy condemns philosopher as her heretic. A prominent natural philosopher is forwarding new claims that contradict religious truths. The clergy demands that he be stopped and turned over for punishment. Either way, this will cause great turmoil in the realm. No, he's free to think. We'll support the philosopher. Oh, there goes our stability. But it's only going to take a few months to regain it. As always. So let's go ahead and build a dry dock in Sayera. And we've converted the heretics in Osnabrück. Oh, Petani inherited Makassar. Interesting. Let's get that dry dock in Holstein. And how much longer is this regency? About five years. Nice, we'll have our infamy mostly cleared up by then. Alright, so we're working on Thuringia. Have some more money, Thuringia.
and become reformed. Good, they've accepted. Right. Um, Salzburg, let's work on- oh, they're already reformed, as is Augsburg. Fantastic. As is the Palatinate. We'll work on Ansbach then. Have some money, Ansbach. And then we'll s a colonist was successful in Ilfius, so we'll send another. And there's our stability back already. A dry dock in Hinterpalmer, and Judea, and Sedan, and Normandy. Right, and Ansbach, uh, we will be enforcing religious unity. Which you have accepted because you're smart. Putting our imperial authority at 88. Oh no, Ilhus was damaged. Well, at least the colony wasn't destroyed. Alright, who's next? Brunswick. Brunswick is next. Let's get married, Brunswick. Perfect. And then a dry dock in Calais, and one in Croatia. And then a shipyard in Bithynia. Alright, Hanover. Become reformed. I'm sorry, not Hanover. Uh, Brunswick. You've accepted. Putting our Imperial Authority at 98. We've got a Magistrate. Let's see about putting it all the way up. Now, which of our provinces can join the Holy Roman Empire? And Twerpen can, and it will. Which gives us one more authority. And let's send another colony to Ilhus. And then let's uh, have Artois join the, join the Empire. We now have maxed out Imperial Authority. It is now time to uh, enact German Erfenig. Require member states of the HRE to submit part of their income directly to the Emperor. This will have the following effects. Member states will have a global tax modifier of minus 5%. And the Emperor will have a global tax modifier of plus 25%. Alright, let's initiate the vote on this. And it passed in a diet in Salzburg. And that's going to be it for today. This has been Holstein Austria, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>